Hi everyone, welcome to the Not Too Shabby channel. This is Dalise, also known as Stamper Girl, and today I am using the November Paper Pad Club that includes both Angel Wings, which is a 12 designs and a 6x6 sheet, and a Shabby Christmas, which also has 12 designs and it comes in 6x6 sheets of paper pads. These are the two paper pads for the November pad club and it also includes a package of ephemera that coordinates both with the angel wings and the a shabby christmas set well let's get creating today i am actually going to be using a pretty old magazine um it's called cards it's from august 2007 and what i did was i asked my daughter to pick three different numbers and those are the pages that I selected and I decided to get inspiration from those cards. Not necessarily a casing but more of bringing some inspiration and I just wanted to show you where there is inspiration everywhere and how you can make it work for you. Okay. So let's get started. Here is the magazine that I will be using. And I actually am gonna be making two cards from A Shabby Christmas using the Shabby Christmas paper pad and one from the Angel Wings paper pad. And I'll be using some of the ephemera and also I cut out some uh, one of the papers that contains ephemera in the Angel Wings collection. So this is the first card that I decide that I am gonna take inspiration from. It is a pretty simple card. Um, first thing that caught my eyes is that it has all the corners are rounded, which I kind of love that look. And also the mat has all the corners around it too. So I am immediately gonna think of that, I'm thinking, a card base in white and maybe having my one of my papers just about a quarter inch each way and I am grabbing the colors the pages that are just calling me and so I am putting everything together I decided I, so I pulled out the poinsettia I pulled that pulled out the scene paper and I pulled out also like the pink background with all the little elements but I decide that this is the card that I'm going to use and there is a reason behind it. The reason is that that card had a strip of paper in the middle and I actually this scene paper makes me think that there is already a focal point in a horizontal way that kind of looks like that strip of paper. So I'm thinking, okay, so I have that covered and I'm going to move on to see how I'm going to incorporate that flower that was on the like top corner. And this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that beautiful piece of Everbile Green will look amazing. And then I found this little church, which is the same church that is on my pattern paper and it's the same scale i'm thinking oh my god that would be super cute to make it pop so i did round all the corners of my card base and that card layer and i am gonna start putting my stuff together i'm gonna put some foam tape behind the church again just racing it a little bit this is not a very thick um, phone tape and then I will be doing the same thing with the branch of evergreen but I want to make a little bit more interesting than just put in the branch because I want the branch to kind of look like it's forward a little bit like closer to me that's why it's so much bigger and then you're looking like to the horizon and that's where you see the little town so I am going to add some foam tape and then I'm actually going to come back with some glitter glue I am using I believe is the distress stickles on uh, I think it's called either rock candy or picket fence I can't remember the name right now and I'm going to put that over my branch and then on top of that branch 
I'm, I'm gonna add some chunky, big glitter. But that glitter that kind of reminds you of when fluffy snow comes down and it just sparkles. It's such a special way. And you know what I'm talking about if you ever seen just fresh snow coming down, like those big snowflakes and it just, everything sparkles. So here is the card. I am gonna come with, again, the stickles, like I said, and then the glitter on top of it. And I am really putting, uh, quite a big amount of stickles and then using my finger just to spread it over and then there is the big chunky glitter that I'm using um this is it's an adorable container it's like a scientific tube but the only problem is I can't put it down once I open it because it doesn't have a flat bottom bottom so um but here is I'm just taking the excess out and I'll show you with a freeze of what an adorable card ended up this being. Like it's just so special. It really brings the idea of a winter scene. Now this is my second page. This is the second card that I decided to use for inspiration. You have um, a little bit of like a arch going on you have some rectangles you have some background and I am deciding to use the angel wings paper pack on this one and for the dark background that the card has I'm gonna use this brown cardstock with the green stars love this color combination I am a lover of green I love green love this special like chatru kind of lemon lime green so I was excited to see this in the angel wings paper pack I'm just cutting the little bit of extra that I have in there with my guillotine and here's my background I'm happy with that so far that's my darker background and then I'm thinking of doing that arch that you see in red in the inspiration card with some of my ephemera pieces. And that's what I'm looking here. I'm like pulling, what could I use? I'm pulling the snowflakes, I'm pulling the star ornaments, and you'll see me start pulling some ornaments too. And I'm just trying to create that arch that is going on in my inspiration card. Once I am here, and I added a few ornaments. I kind of like this. I'm trying to see, these are the cutouts that I did from the actual Angel Wings paper pad. So this paper pad has, um, I believe two or three pages that one of the sides, it's just have these adorable pieces that you can just cut out. So for that arch, that red arch, I decided to go and make myself this scallop frame and I'm using two scallop frames that are nested and that's going to give me that kind of like a frame look and I'll show you in a second here it is and I'm thinking okay this I love how this pink because it's a pink glitter cardstock um from again the same angel wings paper pad like it just breaks up everything in such a nice way. I love it. So then I'm going to bring a little bit of another of the patterns on the Angel Wings paper pad. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try to see if I can follow that frame that I just created. And I really like this a lot more. This idea is just feeling like it's a more complete um, inspiration for this card. So I am just gluing my little frame. I'm gonna cut the excess of this frame. So now I have my phrase down, my frame down. So that is my arch. And now I'm gonna start with the green. And I feel like it's like missing a little bit more of pop of like making it be more differential than the background. So I did decide to mask this. And I'm gonna mask in black 
And um, the reason I'm masking in black is because I really make it, want to make it so it pops, okay? I want it to pop from that background, from that brown background. If I do a cream or white, it would be just too similar in color. I'm just making sure that all my sides are about the same. I love that. Taking a little bit, <laughs> I'm taking like, like one thirty second of an inch. <laughs> it's just a tiny bit, but it makes a difference. So, and I am gonna tape this down, and then I will start positioning my different ephemera pieces that I selected around that arch, and I'm making sure that that one that has the little bit of the hanger for the star ornament is off so I can trim that off and you will never know that it was an ornament and it's just a star so check it out it's how I am making sure that that little bit of that hanger is off and now I'm gonna I have picked one of the three little girls and I am putting Tiny little pieces of foam tapes in all the extremities, the arms and the legs and the rest of the body. And these are so cute. This one that I picked actually is the one that has a sentiment. And um, see, as soon as I turn it on, I'll let you see. I love that this one had a sentiment. On the girl like she's holding this little sign and it says may angels be with you and I think that's what it says I it's gorgeous I'll give you a close-up in a little bit and I am placing a few more stars I actually love the way this is looking and I'm just playing around where to put other of the pieces. These two stars are from that pattern paper that I cut out, the little girl. So it also had these big stars. They're not as big as the bigger one, but I love how coordinate perfectly with the papers and with the ephemera too. So this one is almost done. And I truly love how it looks. I have a third card that it's ready for you to watch in a video tutorial in my YouTube channel under Stamper Girl and it's that one with the poinsettias and I'll show you from the cards magazine what was my inspiration for it but all these three cards are done with the November paper pad club collection the only thing that I added that was not as part of the paper pad club was the little pieces of ribbon, the eyelets, and the stickles, but everything else. I It's just adorable. Three easy cards. I just had some inspiration, and you can find inspiration in your... This one was a magazine about cards, but it could be a magazine about anything. Look at the ads, check them out, and also check out the Not Too Shabby store. If you have not pick your subscription for your paper pack club just make sure that you grab it because you do not want to miss this upcoming december kit it is gorgeous thank you so much for joining us here and thank you for following the not to shabby channel if you enjoy my creations make sure that you go visit me too at stamper girl in my youtube channel